Welcome to On The Go. Join us as we travel by land, sea and air to show you some of the coolest hotspots around. Go! We'll go on healthy food trips, exciting adventure outings and some fun parties. Plus, we'll show you what's new and trending. So fasten your seatbelts because you're in for a ride. When I first found out that we were coming here, I was really excited. Some friends of mine had told me about the island and had explained to us what an amazing location it is, about the amazing animals there are here on the island. And I started researching and doing my own Googling about the island itself. So when I found out that we were coming, I knew a little bit about what to expect and I was really excited. So Banias Island is an 87 square kilometre natural island. It is located in the Arabian Gulf approximately 8 kilometres from Abu Dhabi's western coastline. There are different ways to get to the island. From Abu Dhabi airport there is a two and a half hour drive to the Jebel Dana port. But if you are coming from Dubai like us, it will take you at least three and a half hours. You then have to take a boat which takes around 20 minutes. Boat trips are available seven days a week. As you can see, it's really early morning and we've just had a three hour drive from Dubai to the ferry port, but we're going to jump on that ferry over there to go to Sir Banyas Island, where we're going to see some amazing things. If you are not up to the long road trip, you can get to Sir Banias Island in under an hour. This is by flying to the island from Dubai or Abu Dhabi airport via a jet. You can even choose to charter your own private plane. So we actually got to go in the front of the boat. We could see the whole coastline of the island. So Banias Island's name originates from the Banias tribe who first inhabited Abu Dhabi. The island was created millions of years ago when natural geological forces created the Salt Dome Island that is present today. Now this is the main captain and he knows the road is like home. How are you? Yeah. The water was a little bit choppy, but we were in good hands with the captain who had had lots of years' experience. Do you have a license to drive this? Only the captain. Big ship. Big ship? Yes. All the ships you drive. Before hearing about the island, I would have always thought that you had to go to Kenya or the Tanzania to see amazing wildlife animals that we're going to see today. So Banias Island was established as a nature reserve in 1971 by the late UAE President Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. Sheikh Zayed recognised the need to preserve animals that were at risk from extinction, particularly within the UAE and Arabian Peninsula. There is a lion. There is a tiger. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Amy, there is a lion? Okay, listen, Amy told me there's only cheetahs and I don't like to see a lion or a tiger. And here is the mountain, too much animal there. Too much? Yeah. And? Aina also have. Really? Yeah. Okay, but listen, we agree that there is no lions. There is lions? Yeah. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. My friend, I'm very serious. Over the last two decades, the island has been transformed into vibrant wildlife sanctuary and is the home of several million trees and 13,000 animals like giraffe, cheetah, hyena, oryx and ostrich, all roaming freely around the wildlife park. As we were approaching the island, my initial reaction was I couldn't believe how big it was. I could see like mountain range, like masses of land.
Good morning, everyone. Hi. Mark. Hi. How are you? Oh. Fine, thank you. Rudy should protect us today from all the lions and tigers and <laughs> all the dangerous <laughs> animals. <laughs> yes. Convince no yourself lions, there's no tigers, liars and tigers. Wow, you made my day. <laughs> Cheetahs, though. Cheetahs, it's fine. We can play together all the day. Although it is a remote, secluded island, travellers can still enjoy luxurious facilities. There are three exclusive Anantara resorts that you can choose from when staying on the island. If you want to go here for a family outing, the Desert Island Resort and Spa is a great choice because of its spacious, family-friendly facilities. If you're into a safari experience, the Al Sahel Village Resort is where you need to go because it overlooks lush greenery and you can even see the animals grazing right outside of your window. For honeymooners who want a private beachfront retreat, then book your stay at Al Yam Villas. I do definitely think it could be a honeymoon resort, hands down. It's got the beautiful villas, uh, the beautiful beaches, and the idea of being on safari. It's very romantic. When you go on holiday, it's a time for you to be indulgent, and you probably eat a little bit more, and you do a little bit less. But I think being here, there is so much to do that you want to be active. There are wildlife drives, nature walks, water sports activities, mountain biking, land sailing and even archery. I'm looking forward to just doing something a little bit different. So being able to ride a horse on the beach, that's uh, it's going to be something special. And as well, doing the wildlife tour, uh, that's not something that you can do every day. Don't forget your sun cream and a bottle of water. Stay hydrated. Don't forget your camera. You are not going to want to forget or miss any photographic opportunities, especially when you're with the animals. Be prepared for a, an adventure. Don't think that you're not going to be ready for anything. Throw yourself at every opportunity that comes your way because for sure you're not going to be disappointed.